A machine blind hem stitch is a stitch that combines a straight stitch or a narrow zigzag stitch with a wide zigzag in even intervals. And what happens is that the wide zigzag catches the inside of the fabric, ideally just a smidgen of a thread, and this will secure the seam while also being practically invisible on the outside. To perfect this stitch, I highly recommend using a blind hem presser foot. Most, if not all sewing machine brands have this foot and it's actually often included in the toolbox that comes with the machine. And while they can look a little bit different depending on the brand, the principle is the same. You align the fold of fabric with a built-in edge guide, which ensures that the zigzag stitch catches just the right amount of fabric on each stitch. To sew a blind hem, you do need to use a special folding technique. And I'm going to show you exactly how now. First, you fold and press the hem towards the back. Then fold the outer layer open to create an extension. And this extension should be roughly around 6 to 10 millimeters, which is quarter to 3 eighths of an inch. And this extension is where the lower part of the blind hem stitch will be positioned. And to help you figure out the total hem allowance, well, it should be the width of the hem plus the extension. Another folding option that creates a really clean edge is to have a longer extension and then fold the edge inward because this will enclose the edge within the blind hem stitch, but it will also make the hem bulkier. And here's a bonus tip. To make folding easier and more precise, stitch a folding line along the extension just using a regular straight stitch. This will make it much, much easier to create that nice even fold. A regular blind hem stitch is usually not enough to overcast the seam, especially if your fabric is prone to fraying. So, before you start doing the blind hem, use a regular zigzag stitch or perhaps a three thread wide overlock before sewing the blind hem. If your blind hem in knits, well, you can skip overcasting. However, if you have a serger, I highly recommend that you overcast the knit fabric with a three thread wide overlock and you increase the differential feed slightly because you know what? This will prevent the fabric from stretching out, which is a bit of an issue when you're sewing knits on a sewing machine. And of course, if you're using the enclosed folding method, well, there's less need for overcasting. The blind hem stitch usually look like this. I also recommend that you check your manual for the recommended stitch settings, but you should also be prepared to adjust them after you've done your first sample. Fold should align with the blade. Make sure that there is no gap or that the fabric is scrunched towards the blade because it should rest along the guide blade but not be pressed tightly against it. This will require some practice, but I promise you, you will get better with time. And here's a bonus tip. If you use a narrow extension around six millimeters, one quarter of an inch, you can actually align the edge of the presser foot with the edge of the fabric because this way the seam will be even more even. So important to do a sample because you cannot assume that the recommended settings will work for every type of fabric. And here are some common issues to look for on your first sample. If the needle catches too much fabric, decrease the stitch width just slightly. And if the needle misses the fabric, well, increase the stitch width. If you want a more durable hem, I do recommend that you decrease the stitch length a little bit so that there are more stitches that will catch the fabric. And if the stitching is still visible despite your best effort, I do recommend that you increase the stitch length slightly so that the stitches are at least a bit more spread out. But also remember, with practice, you will get so much better with this stitch. Align the fabric and make sure that you don't slip with your hands. You need to control the fabric with both hands. And if you're really struggling, try getting a magnifying line for precision sewing. It's great in general and it's extremely useful when you're sewing a blind hem stitch because with this tool, you'll be able to see every stitch up close, even on darker fabrics. And if you won't get one of those lamps, I've provided some links in the description section so you can check that out. And once you're done, Check that the needle has caught the fabric around the entire hem. Pull to make sure it's secure. And if you missed a few spots, well, just re-stitch that area. 
you'll likely get some ridges or small pits when the stitch is catching the outer fabric, even if the stitch is invisible, but don't worry, a gentle pressing with the iron would usually smooth out that area. And here's the finished hem. As you can see, it's almost invisible, even here when I'm using contrasting thread. And if you want to get even more tips on how to sew blind hems on a regular sewing machine, I recommend you check out my video Perfect Blind Hem Stitch, where I go even deeper into this topic and share lots of more useful tips.